What is up, everyone? Welcome to The Daily Wrap for Wednesday, the 27th of April, 2022. Today was my return day after having a day off yesterday from streaming, and there was a lot going on. Uh, on the pre-stream podcast, I re recapped a ton of stuff, including what I did on my day off. Uh, talked a lot about my experience with Super Thanks, only having only having it enabled on the channel for one day, but seeing that some people had tried to use it and seeing exactly how it works and some of the ins and outs and that I had learned in the day that had passed. Um, talked about the future, you know, what's going to be in the schedule. Talked about some ideas about when exactly we should be doing the next uh, DSP Reacts event since we did lock in to doing it, hitting our members goal for April. <clears throat> Even a little bit of news about Twitch. So a lot of stuff discussed on the pre-stream podcast today. If you missed it, I recommend that you give it a look. The first gameplay stream today was LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and we managed to finish up uh, Revenge of the Sith, so the prequel trilogy ended, and then we started with The Force Awakens, so the modern Star Wars trilogy began. Um, still had a lot of fun with this. We actually talked a lot about the different lore, Anakin turning to the dark side, what midichlorians really are, and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, it was a good one. But, admittedly, at this point, it seems like even with the modern trilogy, it's even less appealing for some reason. We had, the, I think, the least viewers on a Star Wars stream by the end of the stream than we've even had since the game started. It sucks, but what can you do? I like the game. It's chill fun. This is the third and final trilogy of the game. I'm certainly not dropping it now. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm predicting probably three more streams. I'm thinking one more stream will finish up Force Awakens and head into uh, Last Jedi. That next stream will probably finish Last Jedi and start the finale. I'm thinking three more streams. I could be wrong. It could be more. But I'm thinking probably three more to wrap up the game. Okay? Support. Not very good. I'm going to be honest. I think it was about maybe 50 bucks in tips. Uh, and we did get some super chats and things, which was nice. But a slow day. Then on the late stream, we played what the members voted for, YouTubers Life 2. And it didn't work out. And here's why. I don't think that it was a bad choice. In fact, I actually wanted to go back to YouTubers Life 2 and try it out. But I think there's a couple unique factors here that kind of made it a dud, and here's why. Factor number one, <clears throat> I haven't played the game since November. Yeah, it's been that long. And not playing it since November, I'd forgotten how to play it. I didn't exactly know how, how to focus on certain things or what the important stuff was. Um, ended up wasting a couple of in-game days trying to, to, to remember the ropes and everything, and that's not good, okay? Number two... We're now in the meat of the game because it's five hours in. This was starting like hour six of gameplay. And what I found is after the tutorial stuff is done and you're not constantly unlocking new stuff and that little side quest there with PewDiePie that was earlier in the game, uh, it ain't that fun anymore. You know, you're basically walking around, okay, what's the hot topic? Is it a game today? Is it an a, a Instagram post you have to make? Is there a blog you have to film? And you're kind of running in circles trying to figure it out. And the game is very cryptic in this, this regard. It doesn't really clearly explain how to do a lot of the stuff in the game. Like, we were finding these USB sticks around town. Okay, how do I plug it into my PC to find the data so we can talk about that topic? No idea. There's no option for it. The game doesn't explain anything. People were even trying to look it up on the internet and couldn't figure it out. So, fuck it. We played it for an hour. It was incredibly boring. And instead of just wasting time, we said, well, how, here's what we could do. Here's something that I've actually wanted to do recently. Let's do an hour exploring game pass let's see what new games have been added to game pass or maybe what older games were there that we didn't play yet and i'm interested in maybe adding to my to playlist let's remove some things from my existing list let's refresh everything so we did we actually spent about an hour doing some q a going through game pass adding games removing games and what we came to the determination of is as follows instead of doing some more polls for the next few game pass streams i'm going to pick what we play one of the streams will definitely be the conclusion of I Am Fish, or at least finishing up the last two story-based missions. I don't know if we're going to be able to go back and unlock enough of the optional stars to actually see the super secret final mission, but we'll see. All right? But another stream, I want to do something completely different. Some interesting options that I picked tonight. Going back and doing a playthrough of Mirror's Edge, the original game from like 2009 that I filmed with a camera pointed at an angle at my television. It looked absolutely terrible. The color's off. And it's a very, very old playthrough. I've always wanted to go back and do a second run with direct capture and make it look good. This could be my opportunity to do that. Okay? It's a short game, by the way. Um, or maybe I could try something completely silly, like Bassmaster Fishing 2022. I know that sounds weird, but the game's on Game Pass. And I'm like, why not just do a throwaway stream where we kind of mess around with Bassmaster and see if it's funny or if it's any good at all. Right? Just for the hell of it. 
Uh, continue on with some of the games that I personally have wanted to continue, like One Piece Pirate Warriors 4, maybe Serious Sam 4, games that people just aren't voting for when I do the polls. Um, and a few others, like I think like the Return to Cavalry. That was one that I actually put on there way back in the fall. Looked really interesting to me, but no one ever voted for it. But now maybe we can finally get it in the running, or maybe I could just play it, okay? So, we really messed around with the list tonight, for sure, and I downloaded a few games and everything. Um, so what we'll do... <clears throat> Let's talk over the next couple of days. Let me know out of the stuff that we did, because the video will be live. As if you're watching this, the video for that should also be going live tonight on DSP Gaming. Watch the video. Be sure to like it and leave comments on it to let me know your feedback, because I need your feedback, okay? And let's look for the next two days at what people suggest, and that'll help me to determine what I want to play either Saturday night or Monday night, because those are the next two Game Pass nights lined up. And one night will definitely be I Am Fish, and another will be something new, something different, okay? There you go. Um, so there you have it. That was today in a nutshell. Now, support on the night stream was absolutely god-awful. I had raised three bucks. And then when I switched and I started doing the Game Pass exploration and Q&A, all of a sudden people came out to support. And by the end of the night, we raised like maybe 50 bucks in tips. Not bad for a stream that's an impromptu stream like that. Um, so yeah, it ended up basically being a, a slower day today support-wise. But I had fun with LEGO. We had a great pre-stream podcast. And the late stream, we actually got some stuff done determining what games I'll be playing next on Game Pass. So I consider that a win. I consider that a good day. And I hope that you guys had fun with me if you were on the streams. If not, again, please enjoy the videos. Okay, now keep in mind, Super Thanks now exist. If you watch all the content on demand, like this video, only on demand. This is not live stream. If you watch the Daily Wrap and you like it, you can like the videos, you can leave comments, and now you can give a super thanks to support the channel right below the video, right about there. There should be the option to do it, or if you're on mobile, I actually heard today, it's not there. What you have to do is go to the section where you would either like or dislike a video, and it'll actually have a thanks option there. And you can leave a super thanks <clears throat> on this very video or any of the videos you watch today if you want to help out, especially knowing that today was a slower day. It would be great if you could support in other ways like that, okay? All right. Tomorrow, Friday, no. Thursday, I got it confused, Thursday the 28th, Elden Ring Endgame, we're in the Halling Tree, we're in the second half, which is the dungeon that's kind of like a city, it's really neat, but man is it challenging, I'm excited for more tomorrow, I hope that you will join me for the continuation of the Halling Tree madness on the first stream, the late stream will be Skyrim After Hours, where we will do two Daedric quests, and then if there's enough time, we're going to start up one of the major DLCs of the game, Friday will be the new Bug Snacks Expansion DLC. That's right. We're coming back to Bug Snacks after a lengthy, lengthy hiatus. I played it as a launch title on PS5 way back when, and now we're coming back to it with this DLC expansion. Friday night is Friday Night Fights, old school Street Fighter fun. And then on Saturday, we'll play more Lego Star, Star, yeah, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. It's a big tongue twister. And then Saturday night is the first of two Game Pass streams. Like I said, either I am fish or I will pick something, depending on your feedback in the next few days. All right, guys? Thank you so very much. I hope you'll be back tomorrow. I hope tomorrow maybe we can have a, a more supportive day. But then again, you know, today I knew it was going to be on the slower side with the stuff that was being played. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll be great. This end game stuff in Elden Ring is what you guys have been waiting for for the longest time. So I hope you'll come out and chill with me while I play it. Sound good? Thank you all. Have a good night. See you in the AM. Peace out.